Two Deep Fears, Mary Magdalene by Pamela Kribbe Webpage, www.jeshua.net I am Mary Magdalene. I kneel down before you with admiration and respect for what you do on earth. You are opening up new paths of consciousness and you are doing that while still carrying the burden of the past within you. Old pain and anxiety come up precisely because new ways of consciousness are entering into your awareness, into your body, and into your emotions. In the actual creating of new paths of consciousness, you heal the old pain. It seems as if this should have happened in the past, you have been on earth so many times before, but it was not possible to create new paths then. There was still too much consciousness trapped in the old institutions of power and authority, and people were imprisoned by their fear for survival, by anxiety on the physical plane, or by fear of being socially ostracized. These fears run very deep in people. If you do not know who you are, if you are immersed in the structures of unconsciousness that are maintained by society, then you believe you are your body and fear for survival touches you in your deepest core to die means to be destroyed. Then very deep impulses arise to resist, and that can lead you to destroy another person, if necessary, to ensure your survival. It is a basic primitive fear. Then there is also the fear of being ostracized socially, of no longer belonging to the group. That, too, is a very deep fear in people. If you are not aware of your soul self, your divine core, then you think that A, you are your body, and that B, you are a socially shaped personality in that body. The personality, which is formed through social influences from the past, was and still is being shaped by fear. You want to belong to the group, you want to be accepted by other people. There is a helpless part in each person that wants to be supported, approved of, and embraced. This is the part of you that wants to belong and that part is still very strong in every person. You have only just emerged from a way of thinking and living that was dominated by power and powerlessness, from domination by fear. Feel in yourself, in your own energy field, where those old energies are still working. Feel it intuitively. See if there are gray or even darker areas visibly at work in your aura or in your body. Feel those old energies at work, such as anxiety exaggerated obedience, fear for survival, and fear of being rejected and lonely, of being alone. These are the two greatest fears that limited people in days gone by. The transition to the new takes time. You can well imagine that, in order to let go of old fears, there is much work to be done in order to really come to trust in heart consciousness, in a new consciousness that says you are not only your body. Your body is a part of you a precious part in which you live temporarily and through which you express yourself. But you are so much more than that. You are a soul consciousness, you are a living light that is independent of physical and material forms. What a leap in consciousness that is. And perhaps an even bigger leap is that you are free of social coercion. Because social coercion, belonging to the group, often moves people to the lowest vibrational level crowd consciousness. It is often the case that what dominates a group or a crowd, a power structure or a person, calls up the greatest fears in people and manipulates them. These fears are the two greatest obstacles that people experienced in the days past. And because of those fears, people go down to the wee space of belonging, which opposes other people or something outside their group. So you then begin to think in terms of us versus them, it becomes vital to belong to your group. The fear then must always be confirmed, along with its justified remedies the way to deal with those fears include violence and dominance toward those outside the group. These themes have come to the surface very strongly at this time, as you can see in the world around you. A greater consciousness is called for now, one that connects and sees the sameness in all other people even though they come from a totally different environment with a different history and a different culture. See what we share in the other person, even when that person is very different. That is the task of this time, both on an inner level and also between countries and cultures. 
that is the big breakthrough that will heal this world. And the biggest step toward that healing is to let go your identification with the body and with your socially formed personality, to rise above those identifications and to again recognize the call of your soul. Your soul tells you that anything is possible, while the fear in you insinuates that very little is possible, that you need to protect yourself, for example, against others or against diseases. But the soul that lives in you is brave and strong, it transcends limitations. I would like to say to you, the person to whom I speak, that you have already, through many lives and for a very long time, helped to increase consciousness on earth. Before this life, you already tasted the feeling of unity of which I speak the fact that you are more than your body, the feeling of being one with another, even though the other comes from a very different background. You already know the feeling of wanting to rise above class and social status, even though this energy was not always welcome on earth. It was a learning process for you to have to deal with the difference between how you feel and think, and how the world around you feels and thinks, or how the majority of people perceive things. And do not forget that a lot of people would like to think otherwise, would like to feel differently, because no one is happy being in the grip of fear, no one wants that. What is happening during this time is that an increasing number of people have had enough of a life based on fear. There is now so much new energy in the Earth's atmosphere, such a feeling of possibility that things can be different, that people are waking up. And certainly the young, the new generations that are now being born on Earth, more and more taste this new energy that you have carried with you for centuries, and they take less and less pleasure in the old ways. But from the perspective of the existing patterns of thought, this energy of the new generation is seen as wild, not fitting into the established norms, as chaotic or leading to behavioral problems. Yet this energy contains the birthing pangs, something new wants to be born. I now come to the main point of this talk. You are here as mentors, to serve as the midwives for the birth of this new energy in this time. However, this requires a lot from you because you still carry within you the traumas of misjudgment and rejection you know what it is to be judged for your new ideas. It is part of your legacy to be socially isolated, to be different, and it has left emotional wounds in you from the day you were born. In fact, they were in you even before this life began. Now is the time when you will be asked to come out of your shell, to show yourself to help with the new energy that now mainly manifests itself through the young people and to guide them, as it were. You can be a channel because you have a deep understanding of both the old and the new. You stand with one leg in the old, and you have become wounded by the old, so you are able to have compassion for people who are afraid to be rejected and lonely. You also have compassion for people who are terrified to die because they believe there is nothing other than this physical body. Your consciousness has been expanded, precisely because you have had to live and work in the dark, and therefore you are the ones who can be a bridge between the old and the new. And so I appeal to you. I ask you to take your natural place, although I know how much this effort can cost you. You have become so used to thinking there is no place for you that you feel completely worn out by the effort. But it is just at that point that you are brought to the task. When you are at the point where you think I give up, there is nothing more I can do, then that becomes the turning point when you can finally allow whatever will happen to flow through you. You surrender your personal will, your ideas on how you think things should be, and you allow yourself to move along with the flow of your soul. The power you have developed, and also the pain you have suffered, have in some way broken your ego. And it is a painful process because every ego is opposed to pain and to being broken. Yet this is the only way, because the pain and the trauma you carry with you are, in a sense, part of the way. When you really feel this pain, and you surround it with compassion, you let go. You become, in a sense, willing to die, because of the knowledge that something greater is carrying you. You surrender to your deepest and truest core and you no longer struggle with the earthly reality. You also give up trying to convince others, because you have truly become yourself. 
You are no longer here to change others and also no longer here to change yourself you are just being you. And this is exactly the bridge function that is your natural place. It is what I mean when I say taking your natural place. Have compassion for yourself and the old pain that remains in your life, and let healing just happen. By seeing this process as part of your way, and leaving the old pain there, healing will take place by itself. You will be helped from all sides. Everything that aspires to life and growth and joy wants to be of service to you guides, helping forces from the universe. You just have to be willing to take your natural place and say to yourself I will no longer live according to fear. The fears may still be there, but I'm more, much more than that. And I remind myself of that every day. Then you will see that life brings you to the place where you belong, where you feel well, where you can experience joy and gladness. To be a light worker, the bringer of change, no longer needs to be a heavy duty and full of agony. That belongs to the past and is no longer your destiny. The road to the new also means for you a new birth in peace with the earth and where you take your place in a natural way. And finally, see if those words, taking your natural place, spontaneously bring up pictures in your mind. Maybe places from your daily life come to mind, or situations, or pursuits, or maybe something rises up as a possibility for the future. Where do you feel really relaxed and happy? Those are the places where you can let your energy flow naturally. See if someone calls out to you, maybe it is the face of someone you know. Or maybe an environment appears in your mind's eye, is there anywhere that invites you, in a happy way, to go there? And do not be afraid to try out things, because there is a lot of room for free play. To come into your power is coming home on earth as who you are and taking your place here. It sounds very simple, but it is the culmination of a long journey that you have created as a soul. I ask you to surrender to that place, it is no longer that far away. Thank you so much for your attention. Mary Magdalene